Good morning. It's Friday, October 11th. We're in Wisconsin. I got a six day hunt out here. Came out here last night. Got to see the Northern Lights, fall asleep to that. So that was really cool. Um, been coming out to this area for about four years now. Uh, plenty of deer, but that doesn't mean it's easy. We're pounding public ground just like everybody else. Took a spike buck out of here last year. Plan right now and moving forward is just to find the deer. Once I find them, we'll make a game plan from there. I do have a general idea of the area, but um, you gotta find those small pockets in mid-October like this. So we just got a complete mess going on here in my truck. All my gear, I've only been here one night and it's a disaster. But that's all right, that's part of the fun. Let's get after it. Well, found a bunch of good spots so far. I don't know how accurate my phone is, but it says I walked almost four miles this morning. Um, and I'm just now heading back towards the truck. And I got more spots to check on the way there. But, um, found that one spot I already showed you, another so-so spot with dropping acorns. Uh, and then way, way back here, um, there's a bunch of white oaks dropping. I jumped two does, and the other one held up feeding still. So I snuck up on her. Actually, he was able to get a range of 28 yards, and I got to full draw. Uh, but she busted me rising up over the brush. So that didn't work out. I followed her trail in another 50 yards over the hill to relocate her. Never relocated him, but found a feeding frenzy. So a lot of sign in there, definitely coming back to that spot. Um, went back to this old logging road and right where those does were, there was another buck that was holding up tight. Um, he jumped off. I only saw a flash of antler. I don't think he was huge, but um, I saw enough sign back there to know that that's worth going back to. So excited for that. Problem is it's way back here. So. Um, looking at the wind forecast, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, it just switched on me, so we'll figure it out. Um, but it's always good to get back in the deer. Um, acorns are always a theme out here. It's just what glob of oaks are they on and where's the hunting pressure. All set up. This is where I had seen three deer does and then a, and a buck over there this morning. There's rubs and feeding sign all around me. Um, the wind's going back that way pretty heavy. I have no idea where they bed. We'll kind of just see what happens, but I can see really far. So whatever ends up happening, I can adjust tomorrow if I need to. But it's just all tore up there from feeding on acorns. Um, sitting in like a white oak tree that butts up to a maple. So every time the wind goes, these trees hit each other and it scares the crap out of me. Um, not a huge fan of heights. This is about as high as I normally would go, four sticks up. But it should work. That's 20 yards right there, so we'll see what happens. I'm in super early. It's about 2.45, so I saw two deer kind of bounding away, uh, maybe 100 yards out, and they were directly downwind of me, so I think the plan was right, but the wind was wrong, so I'm going to try again in the morning, um, I know there's more than two deer in there, so we got a big cold front coming in, the wind's junk for all the spots I want to hunt, so we'll try that in the morning and then go from there. So, good to be out. Temperature's already dropped significantly. I am getting cold.
Thank you. We got a doe. 
What a wild morning. <clears throat> I woke up at 4.30. I checked it on my phone, walking. It's over two and a half miles back here. And I thought I messed it up. Because as soon as I got up here, I scared six, eight deer, but they all went upwind. And then when I got to the base of my tree, I saw a doe and what looked like in my headlight, a really nice buck. Um, they just turned around and walked away. So I was a little bummed out. But um, figured I'd sit it anyway. Sure enough, I'm pretty sure those same deer circled all the way back and started coming back this way. Um, they came from back there and that was cool. Um, multiple does, some fawns, two little bucks were fighting. Um, just what a season. They all started working my way towards the base. You know, I got a main multiple trails coming together down here. And I was gonna wait for that buck. I would have shot that buck out here. But he ended up turning around for whatever reason. And that doe was right here at about nine or 10 yards and standing broadside looking the other way. Nice big doe. She would have winded me soon. So I am super happy about that, but I have a lot of work ahead of me. I could hear the blood pouring out of her and she crashed right there. So at least I got that part figured out. I do have some help, um, which is I'm super thankful for. So time to get to work, decided to go get my hands on her. There's a red oak, or excuse me, a white oak with a maple next to it. And I was sitting right in there. Uh, and she was right here. So here's the other one. She should be, she stood up there and then crashed right there. So she should be right up there somewhere. Here's where she uh, stood. I could just hear it pouring out. The tree is literally right there. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it in the footage. And then she crashed off this way. Look at that. Wisconsin public land doe. I'm real happy with that shot too. Well, I can go wrong, but it helps when they're inside 10 yards. All right, plenty of work to do now. Got it out of there, mostly on the cart. Um, and then out to the meat processor, which I don't normally do, but bringing it there enables me to keep hunting. So we're gonna do that. Um, taking this evening off, kind of get everything cleaned up, situated. Our legs are tired organized and excited to get back at it tomorrow. The temperatures are going to continue to drop and it's going to get real windy out so fingers crossed we keep knocking them down. Day three. Windy and spitting rain. Sat this morning. Jumped one on the way in super early like 4 30 in the morning and then saw some raccoons. I only sat until maybe eight o'clock and got down. It just, it didn't make sense with all the wind coming right directly in. So now I'm taking advantage of that wind and scouting a bunch of spots. Um, not, not finding anything good. Um, so I'll keep, keep checking. Otherwise I'm gonna go try another spot this evening that I scouted in the springtime and I think might be good. 
a lot of pressure this weekend. We've run into tons of grouse hunters, duck hunters, just bird hunters in general, a couple bow hunters. So getting away from the pressure and the people is really turning out to be important. So fingers crossed we can get back into some deer. Afternoon of day three, Sunday, not much to say. Watched part of the Packers game, got some hot food in town. Gonna scout my way into a spot and see if we can get a deer. Let's get after it. Well, I'm all set up. It's about three o'clock. It's windy and raining. I scouted this in the spring. It currently does not look very good until right near the edge of bedding. There's a scrape right up there. Probably can't see it. That's fresh. There's absolutely no leaves in it, which is crazy with the wind and all the leaves falling. Real good trail. Coming right down here, 15, 20 yards. Some semi-fresh rubs, but behind me is not good sign. So I'm either gonna see absolutely nothing or one buck, but if one does come, I'm set up perfect for it. So wind's coming right in my face. I better be quiet and watch for him. Oh, I'm frozen to the bone. I'm soaking wet. It rained. It wasn't supposed to rain. I have rain gear, but it doesn't work when it's in the truck. Rain, super windy. Last 20 minutes it quit and got calm. And sure enough, a buck came out. Mature buck. Problem was it was 10 minutes after shooting light. I couldn't have shot him if I wanted to. But he came where I thought. That's the plan almost worked. Just 10 minutes off. I'm gonna try again in the morning. Maybe try and adjust, but it's gonna get even colder, so maybe he'll be maybe he'll make the move a little bit later be there in daylight but either way that's exciting real wide thick main beam buck god gotta love hunting the hunt continues we'll get back at it tomorrow well <clears throat> it's the morning of day four nothing seen this morning There was frost on my truck this morning when I woke up. Last night, right after shooting light, that's where that buck came out, right here. And I ranged it this morning. He was right there at 21 yards. And he worked off back that way. On my way in here, I found three or four scrapes opened up a few hundred yards back. So I had confidence in the spot, but nothing showed up. I think what I'm going to do is slowly pack up. I'm going to go check where that buck came out, see if there's a move I can make there. I think I see another scrape on the other side of the ridge. Go look at that, and then back out of here. Depending on how that looks, I may or may not hunt here tonight or go back to where I shot that doe. There's plenty of deer. The problem is it's just a really far hike. And uh, these miles are starting to catch up to me. But beautiful morning. That's a big set of tracks. This is that buck's bed. Got that blocked right there. <coughs> Huge bed. If you look, there's hair everywhere in it. Huge set of tracks coming in here. One faint trail in my tree stand. Was wow, right up in there. So I played it right. He just didn't come out until after dark. Unbelievable. Well, 
now I know he's not here, so I don't have to waste a hunt tonight. On to the next one. My plan almost worked. I snuck out of there. I did a big loop around with the wind because um, they like to bed right by the road, the logging road. And uh, right 30 minutes before dark, they all came out. Saw five deer, all does and fawns, but they took a different trail. So I'm gonna try it in the morning again. It's the same spot I shot that doe. Um, I can't believe the pressure out here. I just found this crossbow bolt. I'm over two and a half miles back. It's just sitting on the road. That was not there on the way in. So it's a Monday. Just non-stop pressure. But there are plenty of deer here, so we'll keep on it. Day five. Saw some deer this morning. Scared a bunch of them coming in here again. Which I kind of expected. They bed right on this road. This logging road. Because I don't think anybody else is getting back all this, this way. Anyway, saw two does go back to bed. Tried grunting and seeing if I could stir stuff up and nothing. So I got down, snuck around, went to a scrape, did some calling. Uh, and then I had a buck respond and was grunting up on this logging road. And I was down in the bottom. Waited a while, called back and forth, but he wouldn't commit. Um, so I did a big loop around and came back up and I saw two more deer. I think they were does take off on the logging road because they saw me taking my tree stand down. Just tough to hunt these deer back here. And then uh, went and checked the tracks to see what that thing was that was grunting and there was small tracks. I'm thinking it might have been one of those little ones that I saw sparring a few mornings ago. So I'm running out of spots. And I'm getting tired, but we got one day left. We'll probably hunt this evening and tomorrow morning. So I need to scout and see if find something new to sit. Um, that first sit is always the best one. You can tell these deer are acting on edge because I've been in there a couple times now. So got to stay mobile. Well, that'll do it for my Wisconsin trip. Another successful trip. Um, was able to harvest that doe. Um, was in deer almost every day. Got to hang out with some good friends. Um, I had an absolute blast. Um, don't let anybody tell you it's easy. It's hard, at least for me, grinding away on those on public land pressured whitetails. But man, I love bow hunting. That stuff gets me fired up. Even if I barely eat, waking up at four in the morning, um, did sleep in today, um, woke up in the truck to a bunch of frost, freezing cold, um, but that's all right. Um, time to clean stuff up, the truck's a mess. I'm gonna get this meat in the freezer, convert the truck back to family life, get the car seats back in there, and get back to society. Won't be long and I'll be back in the deer woods here in Minnesota, um, chasing after those big bucks again or really anything that comes my way. Um, if luck's on my side, we might just make it back out to Wisconsin still. Until then, the hunt continues. It's just raisins. I don't eat deer poop.